Hello everyone and welcome back to St. Andrew TV. I'm your host Andrew and today I'm going to walk you through how to clean your Winchester Model 1894 lever action rifle. Everything that we'll need is on the table in front of me so let's tilt this camera down and let's get started. No one on the corner has to work like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh sing and I take your money. All I wanna do is and uh sing and I take your money. So cleaning your Winchester Model 1894 is relatively simple. First and foremost, I open it up and it's not loaded. And that's gonna give me a visual of where my bristle is going to end up when I send that big rod down through the barrel. Here is the rod I'm gonna be using. Quite long, but we have to also get through a 20 inch barrel. And we are looking for the 30 caliber end. I'm assuming means this one's all eaten up because I shoot this thing a lot. That is our 30 caliber, which it is. I'm going to try and keep you in frame here. There's really not too much to see when it comes to cleaning this lever action rifle. We're going to scoot this up and I'm going to show you this end first because I don't like to ram a piece of metal into the back here. It's just, it probably won't do anything to the gun, but it's just precautionary. I don't want to ram metal into metal. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this end and I'm going to feed this bristle down through the barrel like so. And you should see it appear right there. You can see the bristle right there. And then I bring it back through, just like so. Now I'll show you me feeding the bristle through the end of the barrel. And very simple, all the way through. And I have my hand right where it's about to enter the chamber. And just like so, and pull it back through. This gun is relatively clean. I haven't shot it all too much. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem to clean. But I feed the bristle through here to kind of loosen up the leftovers that the bullet may have left for us. Whether that be lead or gunpowder or just any sort of fouling that got caught up in that rifling in there. And that should be about it for that. I think I loosened up pretty much everything that I could. So we're going to remove this end and we are going to move to the cloth and oil. Here's the cleaner I use for anybody who is wondering because I did one on the Colt Single Action Army of how to clean that but it just comes in a little kit. It's relatively cheap. So are these pieces of cloth here. Anyway since this is a 30 caliber the opening isn't all too big so I actually cut this in half and then I get the piece that I'm going to feed the cloth through. Never mind that band-aid. I did something stupid and now I'm living with the consequences. So we have our cloth. We're gonna feed this into the end of our rod here, just like so, nothing too crazy. So I put the gun cleaner on here and I am pretty liberal with the usage of how much I put on here because when I clean guns, I wanna clean them once, put them away until the next time we go shoot. So I feed this into the barrel here and you can see all the access that just came off that. I'll show you this end first. We come through here and I just feed it through a couple of times. Now I'll show you the barrel where I'm feeding it into, just like so. And I do this a few times just to get all the stuff that the bristles loosened up. Yeah, a little bit discoloration, but something you'd expect. It's not 
horribly dirty. But like I said, this is a relatively clean gun as of right now. And we're going to put a new piece of cloth through here and we're going to get everything that we might have missed. And obviously at home when you're doing this or watching along, send it through a few more times. This is just a tutorial to give you the basics of how to do it. So we're going to take our clean piece of cloth here. We'll move you back up into the chamber and we're going to feed the clean cloth through to get anything we might have missed and to clean up all the oil that we left behind that may or may not have loosened all the stuff that might have been left in the rifling. Really easy and obviously the, the cleaner did its job because we were getting very little discoloration. I'll move you down back to the barrel so you can see what I'm doing here and just fish it through the barrel it gets up into that rifling and everything like that very little discoloration that means we got a relatively clean product just like that i don't know how much cleaner that barrel is going to get but that's how we do it and actually i do have a 30 caliber little feather duster down there it's not a feather duster it's just made out of microfiber it just looks like a feather duster this is what i'm talking about you can feed that through and really clean up anything that you might have missed this is a pretty good one i didn't know what it was used for at first and then i kind of got the gist of it same thing show you the chamber i'll feed my feather duster through here just like so and then we'll move down into the end of the barrel and that is all I do. Nothing too strenuous about it. So that is a clean gun barrel. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our gun oil out. And how I do this, and I said this in the previous video, and I'll say it again. Any moving part on this firearm gets oil, no matter what. So the first thing I see that needs oil is our trigger. We'll put a little dab there and a dab on the other side. And like I said, I'm pretty loose with how much goes on there because I ain't replacing any parts anytime soon. This whole mechanism here called the falling floor plate on the model 1894, everything in here gets oil. Both sides. Everything, every last piece gets oil. This that slides gets oil. Everything that moves gets oil. Even where we load our gun gets oil. What I do here is I just run it back however many times I feel get that oil everywhere that I can possibly get it to. So everything is nice and smooth. Run that a few times. The trigger is getting worked right now. Like I said, any place on the gun that moves gets oil. That's my rule. It's a pretty good rule because nothing's broken yet. So now I open it back up and I take my microfiber cloth here and I just wipe it all down. The oil is already in the places that I need it to be. And I just get all the access that doesn't need to be there inside here. And you also can clean it out a little bit while you're in there with your microfiber cloth. Got more oil, getting rid of that. And while we have this open, I'm actually gonna take my toothbrush and I'm gonna go right inside here. Anything that I might have missed is gonna be broken free with the mixture of cleaner and oil. Pretty simple stuff. I can even go on the underside here and get anything that I might have missed. Maybe rub that oil in a little more. Work any little piece that might have something that is undesirable, just like so. Then I'll take my microfiber cloth and wipe it down to make sure that we got everything. I did see some oil left over right here. That will about do it for the cleaning portion. And the thing that I do with all my firearms after I'm done cleaning them is after a day of shooting, I always go around 
to every last screw, make sure everything is holding tight. So I tighten everything up, just like so. Make sure nothing's gonna fall apart on me because a gun that does not reciprocate the love is dangerous. I'll go around to all these little miscellaneous screws. Make sure everything's nice in form fitting. Even this little guy here. See, he was a little loose. Tightened him back up. He's good. He's good. That one feels pretty good as well. Here's a tricky one that you might not find on your first try. This little guy here that attaches your stock. He is also good. Now we're on the other side. There should be three on this side that you could potentially tighten. We got one that was a, a hair loose. That one, he's pretty good. It looks like we are about done. Almost. Almost forgot this guy. Oh yeah. Now he was quite loose. Must not have done him for a while. Must forget that one quite a bit. That just about does it. So I am gonna tilt that camera up and we are gonna say goodbye. Thank you everyone for tuning into St. Andrew TV. That was how to clean your Winchester model 1894 lever action rifle. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. And if I didn't teach you anything, I hope I refreshed your memory. Please leave a comment down below because it helps YouTube promote my video. And I love hearing from you guys. So it's a win-win situation. Also, there is a thumbs up at the bottom of the screen. That is the like button. Hit that if you've enjoyed today's video. And then there is also a subscribe button that's red with white lettering. Some of you have already done that, but if you have came across this video and you like me, the content, or just the stuff that I show you on Mondays at noon, think about hitting the subscribe button. You're a daisy if you do.